The tail of a red squirrel is left over from a previous meal, and it even takes that too. The voles are swarming on the forest floor. Last winter, the pines produced great quantities of seed, so many adult voles survived till spring. And now they're all breeding at an extraordinary rate. This female produced her four young only three weeks ago, but she's already pregnant again and will soon abandon this family and start a new one. The number of voles varies considerably. It gradually builds up over a period of five to six years until finally there are so many that they eat out their food supply and the population crashes. These changes have their effect on the owl population. More voles mean better fed owls which produce bigger clutches of eggs and rear more chicks. And as the number of owls increases, so they spread out into new territory. And in years when the vole population is high, the owl comes across these frontiers and into the Finnish pine forests. And I know they're here already because I've just picked up this. This is an owl pellet. Perching in that tree over there, keeping a very close eye on me. If I go up and have a look in the nest, I may be able to get some idea as to how the vole cycle is going. Come on. There's just one chick. If the voles had been at the height of their population, there would probably be about four chicks in such a nest as this. But the fact that there's only one makes it pretty clear that the vole population is already beginning to crash. So it's very likely that the female and her mate will soon be on their way back to Russia.